So we're going to cook our fettuccine, one teaspoon of salt, boiling water, for about 20 minutes. So next we're going to take five sprigs of spring onion and we're simply going to chop them into pieces that look like this. So next I'm going to get 250 grams of short bacon. We're going to trim off the fat and then we're going to cut it into pieces like this. So now we're simply going to add one tablespoon of butter to a fry pan and we're just going to melt that down and then we're going to add our bacon and spring onion and we're going to cook them off until they're all cooked and nice and soft and look like this. I'm now going to add half a cup of chicken stock and we're going to just stir that through, let it simmer until it reduces down and looks like this. So while that's simmering, we're going to take one very well beaten egg. We're going to drain and rinse our cooked pasta with warm water. And then we're simply going to mix the egg through the pasta until it's all totally combined. Make sure that it's fully coated, the pasta, like this. And then we're simply going to add the pasta to the fry pan like this. Now you can see that nice glaze on the pasta. That's the egg and that's going to form a beautiful creamy sauce. So please like and subscribe for free if you're enjoying this video and then you can get my other videos on my YouTube channel. So when we've completely combined the pasta with the bacon and the onions. We're now going to turn this into a beautiful creamy carbonara. And for this we're simply going to add half a cup of cream. And we're just going to blend that through, give it a really good stir. Just like this. So just keep stirring that through. Continue to stir until you see that sauce start to thicken slightly. At this point, the aroma is absolutely amazing. I can smell the bacon and that real strong carbonara distinct smell. It's beautiful. So now we're going to add one teaspoon of parsley and simply stir that through. And then we're going to add our cheese. And we're just going to stir that through with a fork until it all starts to melt into the sauce and it will thicken up. This is an absolutely beautiful dish with the most creamiest sauce. It's not overpowering at all with any of those flavors. They all just mingle together perfectly. Just let it melt down and there we have it. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. So now we're just going to plate it up Sprinkle a little bit of parsley over the top. Wonderful.